Next up is the uh, chili. Uh, the chili is a bit of a cornucopia of items. Uh, I almost never make chili exactly the same way twice, so it's really a, it kind of amounts to what's in my fridge and uh, what I'm feeling like experimenting with. But uh, for this recipe, I have uh, in the back there uh, six cups of uh, pre-cooked uh, beans. And in this case, because I wanted to uh, go for economy, I went with the dried beans and soaked them overnight. Now one thing to note when you're making dehydrated meals is that when you have dried red beans, they are actually toxic. They will make you sick if you don't boil them well before cooking. So if you're going to start with uh, dried beans for your chili, as opposed to the canned variety, then make sure you soak them overnight and then boil them for about 20 minutes uh, before you cook your chili. And that's what I did here. Uh, I also have two cups of uh, the frozen corn niblets that I used in the shepherd pie recipe. Uh, uh, some sweet uh, green onions or scallions, a bunch of those. Uh, I added one zucchini. Zucchini is not really a chili type item, but it, it really rehydrates beautifully. And as a vegetable, it's pretty good. So one zucchini in there just for that, that texture that it gives. Three uh, green peppers, two large and one medium. Uh, and then I have two uh, uh, sweet uh, peppers, uh, one yellow, one orange, uh, two cups of uh, pre-cooked onions, and uh, four cups of uh, ground beef, all pre-cooked and drained as per the shepherd's pie, same batch. And, uh, you know, oftentimes I just go with canned uh, stewed tomatoes or diced tomatoes, but this time I went to the grocery store and the fresh tomatoes were on sale. So it's a little bit more work, but it actually was cheaper for me to buy the tomatoes, even if, though it's winter, go figure. But, uh, and I decided fresher the better. So for seasoning items, uh, we have at the back some basically bulk uh, bagged uh, chili powder and some garlic powder. And then in the front, uh, we have some barbecue sauce. Uh, I like the bullseye barbecue sauce, a little bit of uh, uh, chipotle uh, Tabasco sauce. I really like that smoky flavor it gives and some liquid smoke and uh, When I start to mix the the flavoring ingredients It's usually a little bit by taste and ear, so I don't measure them uh, I start off with adding the chili until I get the right color and then I'll add in the other agreement uh, Ingredients until I get the right flavor so for our chili. We have all our ingredients chopped up. We're gonna start with the uh, Tomatoes, add them to our saucepan. Follow in with the onions and my ground beef. Stir that up and I'm going to let that simmer a little bit until those tomatoes cook and juice up and make sure it gets a nice sauce like consistency before I add in the rest of the veggies. So those tomatoes in the chili have now uh, stewed down quite well and we can see the mixture is pretty saucy. Uh, we're going to now add the rest of our veggies. about an hour we will check it for consistency and then start adding our flavor. So we can see that uh, chili, the vegetables and the meat are all stewed nicely. 
and then I'm going to start adding chili in. Be pretty liberal with the chili until I get a distinct change in color. As we usually typically see chili look like a deep ruby red. And add a little bit of garlic powder in here too. Not as much garlic powder. Tiny bit more. Just add it in steps and stir it through until you get the color that you like. This is a lot of chili. Before I taste it, it takes a little while to seep in. So give it a good stir. And let her simmer some more. Then I'll give it a taste. If it needs more chili powder, add more chili powder. So, with respect to the chili powder, that seems to taste about right. I'm going to add one cup of the barbecue sauce. Gives it that little bit of a sweet and smoky flavor. I'm going to add some of the uh, Tabasco uh, chipotle sauce. Just a fairly liberal shake. And a little bit of uh, liquid smoke. Just a few shakes is good. Don't overdo it on the liquid smoke. I'm going to stir that in. Let that stew and come back. So this is the uh, chili <clears throat> all packed up. These are two meals, so four cups in one tray takes a little bit longer to dehydrate uh, when you have uh, when you double it up but that's how I'm going to be cooking and preparing these meals and by setting up each tray according to the proportions that I want that makes uh, life a little bit easier when I'm organizing the packing okay we have the dried product now and this is the shepherd's pie mix and the two in the back are the chili and those are in two portion sizes so so we have everything packaged up here uh, this is actually uh, 10 meals worth of uh, camping food uh, for two people well five meals of two people worth and the goal is uh, for me to produce uh, 20 meals for a trip coming up in August uh, I have an extra bag here of the chili, so I only wanted to produce uh, a set of four two-portion uh, meals. Uh, and then I'm going to have another uh, set of meals uh, based on something different, just so that you know, basically every day we can have something different uh, while we're up in the bush. <laughs>